Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the pencil sketch to Photoshop action. So before we get started, let's view a few examples. With this action, you need to open your image and mark the subject area. And then run the action and it will give you some effect like this. So it also has an original color over lemon by which you can turn the pencil sketches and change them to the original color of the image. Here is another example. The action gives you lots of customization options. It is different layers of hatching which you can simply hide to change the effect of the shading we'll see this in little when we tweak the final effects generated after applying the action this is again original color overlay mode The action gives you 10 predefined color effects which you can simply turn by showing or hiding the icons. There is another predefined color effect from the set of 10. Okay, uh, so let's open Photoshop and place the image. We'll use this one. Okay, so before we get started, we need to take care of a few things for the action to work properly. Uh, just as you load the image, you must check it. the image mode is set to RGB color and 8 bits per channel. Then click this flyout list and then click panel options. Check use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers in groups are checked. Uh, there is one more thing that you need to check like your layer must be a background lock layer. If it's not, if you like you cropped or made some other adjustments and your main layer is layer zero or something else you need to change it to a background lock layer to do that go to layer new and background from layer this will turn your image into a background locked layer next regarding the image size the action works best with images of size range from 2500 pixels with wider high to 3500 4500 
pixels the action works very great with larger images if you have a smaller image you can always increase the image by going here image image size and increasing your image if it becomes blurry in some case then after you apply that action you can always reduce your final effect to the original size you had okay now let's load up the actions uh, to do that you need to go to window then actions and from this flyout list select load actions select this pencil sketch to Photoshop action which comes with the download package and click load next let's load the brush to do that click this brush icon and select this drop down list from here select this gear icon and select load brushes select the pencil sketch to brush which came with the package and hit load so one thing you need to check over here is that the opacity and the flow must be set to 100 percent these two parameters must be set to 100 percent for the action to work properly now let's load the patterns to do that go to edit preset preset manager select pattern from this drop down menu then click load select the pencil sketch to patterns which came with the download package and click load now we'll make a selection of our subject main subject over which we want to apply the effect to do that create a new layer by clicking this new layer icon above the background there double click the layer name and rename it as subject make sure that subject is in lowercase it must be in lowercase for the action to work properly now select the background layer and you can use any kind of tools you want to mark your main subject area i'll be using quick selection and few others to quickly make a selection Now I'll try filling up the selection with any color. Select any brush. Deselect the selection. And like fine tune the subject area. It's black so it's pretty like dicey to select the hair properly you can use pen tool I'm making a rough selection for this tutorial purpose you can take as much time as you want to make a proper selection okay so more or less done oops neat now we'll open our action list select the action and hit play we'll wait for some time for the action to finish up we'll fast forward from here and get back when the action finishes okay so the action has finished rendering let's zoom in and let me show you what the final effect looks like so this is 100% let's zoom out a bit 
okay so it's like every time you run you will get a different action uh, sorry uh, you will get a different effect you can delete this folder and you can run again you will get a different effect altogether okay, let's go into these layers one by one and see what levels of customization we have at our hand the first one is the background color you can simply double click and change the color effect you can change the color effect to give it a more parchment or a vintage kind of tone I'll keep white for now now these are the main hatching elements the main scratches and the outline elements these are the main hatching elements it has got let me zoom in a bit it has got few layers like this is hatching one layer the darker tones this is a hatching two layer you can adjust the opacity to make the black areas more dark this is a hatching three this is a hatching four layer again the mid tones you can change the opacity hatching five Hatching over the lighter areas. You can hide these areas, these layers, hatching over the lighter areas to create a more cleaner look. You can also hide this layer. For this, I'd recommend hiding these line layers, which is inside these line elements. You can hide this inner line one. And again, if you want to hide the hatching four layer, this gives more cleaner look over here. This is only dark only shade, and in this case, I'd recommend hiding the inner line too. So these are the line elements. These are the inner pencil scratches over the main uh, shadow areas and this is the outer lines let me show you and these are the outside hatching elements you can simply hide them to get a more cleaner background or you can hide few of them like this is the main bulk of the outside hatching this got a fainter outside hatching two layer you can hide this one and keep the other one on also with this what you can do is you can take a brush one of these included brush you take this brush select the layer mask select color black and brush to hide some parts of these hatchings let me quickly undo this one the same goes with the main hatching elements you can simply take one of these layers and select the layer mask and with layer and with the brush and color black you can simply paint a bit you can also change your brush to like hide parts of these layers now let's look into this image color and adjustment folder over here we have uh, add contrast layer you can change the opacity to make the dark areas more dark and this is the original color overlay it won't work over here since we were using a black and white image I'll quickly take another image and show you how it looks with a color image let me go over the other effects first so we have 10 color effects predefined color effects 
can simply turn any one of them on by toggling this eyeball icon we have this background textures you can hide any one of them or both of them to get a cleaner background and then we have the overall adjustments you can simply double click and change the brightness or the contrast of the overall image you can change the overall levels or change the overall curves you can also change the overall gradient map you have a gradient fill there and we have a solid color fill Okay, let me quickly try the same effect on a colored image. I'll quickly drag this image and to make the selection I will use my previous selection and select over it with a magic wand to quickly select that. I'm doing this just to save some time. I'll duplicate this, delete this layer and rename it as subject and quickly run the action okay it has finished rendering let me quickly show you how the original color overlay looks like it has two layers one this gives a more smudged color effect and this one gives a more true color effect like in this one you see that the skin tone has been smudged over you can also keep both of them shown together to get a more proper color overlay so this is all for this action you also can find more of my pencil sketch actions in my portfolio uh, feel free to visit them and see you soon